for delay. My name is uh, Mikhail Banikov. I'm from Russia, Institute of uh, Continuous Media Mechanics of Ural Branch in Perm. And uh, let me please introduce uh, the presentation of our uh, lab. Uh, uh, thank you for, um, very much for the opportunity to make it. And uh, I will start. So <clears throat> the first, uh, what about I want to tell, it's an uh, experiment uh, which can, uh, which uh, was provided by Professor Nymek and his group in 2004 by a plate of polymethyl metacrylate. And the scheme you can see in this slide, <clears throat> uh, the, uh, this plate was uh, deformed by different um, speed. And uh, uh, you can see that uh, uh, on picture C and D, the different, uh, uh, different uh, morpholo morphology of crack tip. Uh, you can see that in C it's uh, like normal, like uh, glide. And in D we can see that a lot of uh, areas uh, of daughter, daughter cracks, branching mode. And, uh, uh, when uh, there are investigate the phase uh, analysis uh, in uh, you can see it in E and F picture. Uh, this uh, we can see that uh, in the first uh, state it one attractor like uh, shape uh, oval, and if we in branching time it's we, we can see the two attractors. That means that there are two different types of uh, distribution of uh, uh, two types of uh, lo lows, uh, which can uh, propagate the crack. The aim of our work is investigation of duality of critically damage failure transition caused by two intermediate cell similar singular solution of for stress field at the crack tip. And the blow up damage localization kinetic is used for the interpretation of two parameters fracture criteria. The presence of uh, two cells uh, similar solution provides a variety of crack advance depending on the load intensity of the notch type. And uh, in our work, uh, we uh, investigate in composites. Uh, the first step uh, was uh, with unidirectional composite materials. We have studied under quasi-static and cyclic loading in the block loading mode with a gradual increase in amplitude. Uh, realization of experimental program analyzing the acoustic emission, you can see gauge here, and um, with uh, uh, digital image coloration analysis. Uh, the system is uh, here in uh, blue one. And uh, uh, the acoustic emission phase pattern in the stretched composite samples revealed the presence of two attractors corresponding to self-similar solution, uh, which are responsible for two mechanism of damage to failure transition related to parameters fracture criteria. And uh, here you can see the typical energy distribution of acoustic emission events in A and B. It's A and uh, quasi-static uh, tests and B it's uh, fatigue tests. You can see that uh, uh, in acoustic emission, we cannot uh, divide any uh, two uh, different um, uh, parameters, but we can uh, play it uh, gra gradient of energy, about energy, and we can make uh, two clusters in uh, uh, fatigue analysis, the red one and uh, blue one, which uh, produced uh, di two different uh, phenomena. Uh, okay, uh, we can absorb uh, two clusters, cut associated two attractors. Uh, так. Here you can see the strain distribution according to DIC. Uh, <clears throat> uh, A and B, it's a stress strain. Uh, it, it's a stress strain. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, it's a different time. In, in different time, A, B, C, uh, it's uh, low uh, before the fracture. And uh, D, it's uh, one second to fracture. You can see that here in uh, point eight, 
uh, to, should be fractured in that place. And first diagram of deformation critical point was uh, analyzed in that slide. And uh, we can observe two clusters can be associated with two attractors corresponding to a single solution with a stress intensity factor and non-singular solution associated with uh, T stresses. At the same time for quasi-static loading, the division into such cluster is uh, not so obvious. It's uh, looking so very closely and for, uh, for Fatigue loading is uh, far away from, from that another. And uh, the next step, it's uh, trying to make a multifractional spectral analysis. And you can see that for uh, composites under condition of uniaxial quasi-static cyclic loading, for the experiment of uh, composite uh, of cluster one is bell shaped de dependencies, and the spectrum of cluster two degenerates into a point which characterizes that these clusters uh, goes to monofractal properties. For the experiment of cyclic loading and the unidirectional composite, both spectra are multifractal. In this case, the spectrum of cluster two, uh, two has a large white. These results confirm the corrections of the decision to perform differential uh, processing of clustering data in multifractional analysis on credit. And uh, the next step is analysis of uh, composites. It was woven, woven layered composites with a straight concentrator in the form of a hole in the center. The quasi-static and cycling tests were also carried out of uh, carried out and frequency was at 10 gigahertz. And <clears throat> here you can see uh, uh, quasi static and fatigue tests. Uh, there was very similar. Uh, here you can see uh, distribution of deformation, and we can uh, see the points uh, close to the concentrator, which are big deformation. And in that point was made analysis uh, and build the phase diagrams, this, uh, this clusterization, cluster analysis. And uh, we can divide that uh, there are two different uh, laws of, uh, 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 two different laws. <clears throat> and analysis of phase portraits in the coordinates deformation straight rate reflects the temporal dynamics of the development of damage during the entire loading process and the influence of two attractors corresponding to the predominant influence of stress concentration and uh, uh, regions of phase states large deformation. <clears throat> and uh, Next stage of our research uh, was uh, microtomography of uh, loaded material. Uh, we cut uh, some, uh, uh, some probes. Uh, you can see in the left uh, side, it's uh, first uh, one, it's uh, not a deformed probe. Two, it's close to, uh, close to the concentrator. Uh, you, you can see that. This, this was video. Uh, and the third one, it uh, uh, far away from concentrator. And uh, we made uh, analysis. And it's very difficult to divide uh, the damage, uh, which was, uh, which was in, in the material during the manufacturing. Like this, you can see from red side, it's voids and uh, damage which caused by deformation. But uh, our colleague, uh, Anna Ignatova, uh, she will make a presentation after me and uh, she will talk about it uh, very good. Uh, so it's, it's all, it's my conclusion. You can see it, it's that slide. I will, I will not stop it very, very big. Uh, thank you for your attention. And if you have uh, any question, I will be glad to answer you. Thank you very much.